What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another draft here on Magic the Gathering. Internet slash Pepper Talk. Pepper Talk is we're doing Pepper Talk right now. If you guys have any questions, you can ask them in the YouTube comments below, and we'll be sure to get to them. Michael is uh, clearly our designated Pepper, and uh, you're listening to WMTB PPR one hundred seven point nine Schmittelbach. 107 point Schmittelbach. Today we're going to be doing an Innistrad Phantom Swiss Draft. What pepper do you recommend as a personal or a home defense pepper? It's a good question. Good question. Carolina Reaper. A Carolina Reaper. Uh, not to be confused with the Grim Reaper, which is the Harbinger of Death. Very similar, but also different. Uh, Enemies MTGO says, how spicy is a Bober? It's a good question. It's about a 7 out of 10. A Bober is a 7 out of 10. Oh, why is it a phantom draft? Oh my god, of course I opened the friggin' snap. What's this guy even go for? Can I make it a non-phantom right now? Uh, Innistrad. It's only 10 tickets. I still think it's probably good enough to take, right? Yeah, he needs support, though. I have a question for you now. A question from RPG Bester. How does Pepper? I don't know how to answer that. Hmm. Uh, pernicious dude says, won't, won't robbers not fear the Reaper? No, the only people who don't fear the Reaper are people who have listened to Blue Oyster Cult prior to robberies. Uh, so I think your market is uh, limited there. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's as all encompassing as you might assume. So good question, good question. I don't know what the pick is here. Travel preparation is a card uh, that is very, very good in the green-white archetype, and it's common. So if we can see some travel preps, I can see going like white the white humans. Avacyn Priest is very good. Uh, how 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 is Babby formed? Uh, question from WL Sack. How is Babby formed? Well, you see. How is? Do you know that meme? What? How is Babby formed? No. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna take snap. I'm gonna take Avacyn's pil- Avacyn's Priest. Is that a meme? Are you memeing me on your meme? I'm, I'm meme? surprised you don't know how is Babby formed. This is, yeah, this is a real meme. I'll show it to you after this. Just like, oh, here's the travel prep we were talking about. So, travel prep is put a 1-1 counter on each of two dudes, and then you flash it back. So, it's literally four counters on any number of up to four dudes. I'm going to take the travel prep. That is exactly the card we want to be uh, to be picking up. To be picking up. And hopefully no one else knows about the travel prep tech, but uh, this pack is not very exciting. Reckless Wave is okay, but this is a limited format where I don't really want one drops. You also don't really want to be three colors. I also don't want a 1-1 for one. It transforms into a 3-2, but by that point I'd rather just be playing a 3-2 for two or three mana, which is... take a Blazing Torch. uh, 420 Blazing Torch it? Yeah. Okay, that's actually a fine pick. Avacyn's... Ooh, Prey Upon. Prey Upon's great in this format because all the creatures are pretty small (laughs) until they flip. And uh, this is a different time, guys. It's a different time. Yeah, libel until I got super. I got super excited about the Snapcaster, and then I got sad about the phantomness of it all. I think it's actually prey upon. I don't think Avacyn's Pilgrim is better. Orchard Orchard Spirit is very good because it can't be blocked, except for creatures with Spider sp- sp- Flying Reach. <laughs> spider Flying Reach. It yeah. can't be blocked except with creatures with Spider, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna take the prey upon. In this format, it's basically just removal. And so, like, one of the good things is that a lot of the... Um, this is a second Rune Chanter's Pike. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of the werewolves are humans at first. So, you just get to pick up all the humans. I'm going to take this Village of Eswald because turning into a 4-6 is pretty good. And a 2-3 three for 3 is just fine. So, I accidentally... A whole Coca-Cola bottle. Is this bad? Wow, that... The fact that you, 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 miss, you left out the verb there is pretty disconcerting. I accidentally swallowed a whole Coca-Cola bottle. No, I accidentally stepped on. Oh. I accidentally a whole blank is a meme. Oh, see, that's good. See, you're learning me on some memes, and I'm learning you on some memes. That's funny. We're having a good time. 2-1-2-1, Death Dusher. That guy's good. 2-1-2-1? Two, one, two, one, it has four stats? Yeah. That's pretty it's, impressive, it's, got, man. it's like double strike, kind of. That's actually really good. What does this do? Creatures you control can from non-human creatures. I don't care about that. That's funny because it just goes to show you the extensiveness of memes on the internet where like two memes have come up in this stream alone where uh, I didn't know one and Mike didn't know the other. So that's a lot yeah, of memes. I don't know about the Babby. I don't know how, how the Babby is formed. Babby formed. How is Babby formed? So it, it started when someone on like a, like a Yahoo questions form asked how is Babby formed? Three kids. They are 
taking the three babby back to New York to Lady to rest. My Barry are with the father who lost his children. I am truly sorry for your loss. Wow. So it was literally, yeah, just a YouTube question back then. It's like the pregnant? Yes, yes. And like, um,. Does I become pregnant? And so the meme is just them reading it as if, like, based on the the terrible translation. Uh, it's either prey upon or pilgrim here. I'm still leaning toward the prey upon. Having multiple prey upons in this format seems good, especially if you can flip your wolves. But I like that they were both in that pack, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, cobbled wings. Nah. Really? Well, nah, it's not good. Why? I don't remember that card being good. I don't remember it being good, but I think it was overlooked a lot. I'm going to take it because I think it's better than Grave, Bramble, or Mulch. Plus, like, giving flying to, like, a 4-6 werewolf is pretty good. Hey, man. You ever give flying to a werewolf before? You ever seen a werewolf fly? I can't say I have. Yeah, I think Prey Upon is not great in uh, in the current format. Oh, Orchard Spirit came back. That's pretty nice. That's a good one. I also like Ranger's Guile. I would take a Ranger's Guile. Yeah, we need creatures. That's... <laughs> Okay, take it easy. Uh, that's from Lion King, so I hope I don't get demonetized. Switching drinks. Chocolate rain. Mike stays dry while his mom feels the pain. Chocolate rain. What is the best pepper? Oh, oh! Welcome back. We have another pepper talk on uh, pepper pepper chat pepper talk. Uh, what is the best pepper to cast out of your graveyard with Snapcaster? Gorgonzola pepper. You heard it here. The Gorgonzola Pepper is the best pepper to cast out of your graveyard with a Snapcaster Mage. Thank you so much. Give a spider a fly, it eats for a day. Teach a spider to fly and suddenly you're Satan. That's actually a fair... Yeah, I think that's accurate. That that math checks out. Mike stays dry. The pain Mike goes... Look at all these words. <clears throat> Look at all these words? What yeah. are you referring to? Those. Look at all of them. Yeah, there's a lot of words in this. Oh, evil twin? Don't care. Long hair, don't care. Boar is actually pretty good. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4, and if something has died, it's a 5-5 five, five trample. That's a sizable beast. I got the beast in my sights. You know what that's from? Yes. What is it from? Hearthstone. What card? Big Game Hunter. Dang. Nailed it. Woo! It's easy to remember because there's also Ooh. a big game hunter in Magic. That's true. Flying werewolves are pretty scary. That's true. He's That's also correct. Ooh, parallel lives. Is that a thing we can take advantage of? No. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Uh, this is only tokens, not not uh, counters, so probably not, actually. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. I like Hollowhenge Scavenger because it's a 4-5 for 5. It five. gains you 5. Or I also like Villagers as well. Uh, WL Sack has a question for Pepper Chat. Uh, what's the hottest pepper in Magic? Michael? Jace the Pepper Sculptor. Jace the Pepper Sculptor, guys. Jace the Pepper Sculptor. No, if you had if you had spider spawning, like, you were already winning. Like, you were also, you were making your deck in such a way that spider spawning times two would be more than enough. I don't know which one it is here. I think it's the uncommon, because I can probably get more three drops. I'm really just looking for, if I can find any sort of travel preparations, number two and three, I will take those immediately. Grizzled Outcast is fine. Four, 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 five turns into a seven, seven. Seems good. It's probably just better than this Kinder Catch, uh, which is also my nickname for Mike's mom. The Kinder Catch. So, you know. The Kinder Catch can, the Kinder Catch can, the Kinder Catch can, the Kinder Catch can. Speaking of spider spawning. 
We're not really the we're not, we're not set up for it. Yeah, I like the two through flyer. I think that guy's fine. We are not set up for it. That is correct. It makes me sad, but it's correct. But it's wrong. Victim of night. Man, that's late. Victim of the night. I don't hate selfless Cathar. I also don't mind moon mist. We can flip our boys. Transforming humans permanent common turns you up with this turn by creatures other than werewolves and wolves. So this guy and this guy would be flipped for free, and then we get some damage in. I think you probably just want the moon mist, right? I don't know. I should transform all humans, not just your humans, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the selfless Cathar. I thought the pepper was white! I watched the uh, the Joe Rogan interview with Roseanne. Oh, he did that? Like he recently? Oh, yeah. I think it was a hmm. week ago. Probably a week and a half ago. How was it? <sighs> she strikes me as a person who... I mean, she seems very well aware that she has had some, some uh, mental health issues. And... Um, it, she's actually one of those people who is like very, very cognitive, but they don't get that they're just not seeing things correctly. Frank's your song gets so stuck in my head that the FNM I went to, I cracked a pack and saw an ocean rain and started singing Some Stay Dry under my breath, but I think the dude next to me heard, because after he showed me that, he hate drafted a Nightmare Predator even though he went Boros. I still won, though. <laughs> I think that's the most important part. The winning is the most important part. The winning is the hardest part. It's probably just Traveler's Name, and I don't think Intangible Virtue. If we were going to take Parallel Lives... Then we could probably take Intangible Virtue, but I don't think we're in a position to do either of those. I'm going to take Travelers. <sighs> yeah, this is fine. It can let us play 16 lands. Oh, Splinter Fright. What do you think about that? I think it's not very good. I think you're right. That's probably just going to take Ranger's Guile. Yeah. Um, wow, Pro Pot number three, huh? Make a wish. I kind of like Villager Bell Ringer, which is untaps all of our creatures. So that's a pretty good trick for combat. Caravan Vigil. Yeah, put that card on the yeah, It's whatever. A lot of mulches coming around here. Don't come around. Don't mulch around here no more. It's a Tom Petty song. Did you know that? Do you know anything? Unbelievable. Chain creature has flying, pernal combat, challenge level two, and buy enchanted creature. Whatever. Whatever. This pack was not great for us, but hopefully the third pack will be good because our first pack was pretty good. So that's true. If we find a splinter twin, we can play a village bell ringer and go infinite. Or a key, or a Keegums Jeekums. Also correct. A Kajiki Jiki. A Kajiki Jiki, if you will. Man, look at this pause. I know, it's a good one. Oh, an isolated chappy. All right, well, that's not what we're looking for here. Elder Cathar is fine. Butcher's Cleaver is actually pretty busted in the human's deck. Probably taking that. Plus three, plus O, oh, and if it's a human, it gets lifelink. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty busted. It's really hard to uh, uh, to deal with. Is uh... Mausoleum Guard, when it dies, create two one ones. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. Frightful Delusion. Maybe the worst counter spell ever printed. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Pay three mana <laughs> for a four spike. Spell for one. What then? They display They discard a card. Oh. Oh. I mean, to be fair, if they tap out for a spell and you play Frightful, like, it's, it's a pretty good two for one, right? I just don't see it happening. I don't see you happening. This is the third intangible virtue we've seen. If we had more than this for tokens, I'd probably be all over it. Probably just taking three in century here. He's a good boy. Yeah, you're right. I'm looking for more two drops here because we have a one. Yeah, we want as many two drops as you can get. Yeah, the tilt the tilt value is very high on frightful delusions. That's a good point. Because if you get if you if they get you with it, it's a good got them. Let's it's like put it one. That I way. can't believe you have that in your deck, and two, you just got me with it. Dang! Wow, now I got to discard a card too. Oh, Nevermore. A foil Nevermore is probably worth something on Moto, but unfortunately, Phantom. Uh, yeah, right. I guess you just take the Kinder oh. guy. 
I was going to take Chapel Guys. Oh, that's better. Yeah, I didn't see that. It's called Chappy Werewolves. Uh, Earth Secret Grid plus one sacrifice of regenerate Werewolves. Uh, it's actually not terrible, but unfortunately, it only it only affects like two of our guys. Yeah, not worth it. Chappy. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Second travel prep is a great a great pickup here. Uh, Orchard Spirit would be nice, but having a bunch of flyers and a oh dark dark thicket wolf is nice. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a solid... This is literally the same two-drop from um, Guilds of Ravnica, only it costs three instead of five to activate its ability. Significantly better. Yeah, it's one of the premium two-drops. That's one of those cards where you read it, listen to your opponent, explain it, read it again, give it back to them, take it, and read it again before you let it resolve. Which one are we talking about? Frightful Delusion? Yeah. What did you say to me? That's what I thought. Wrecked. This is how I make money. That's how you make money? Or that's mm -hmm. the sound of money. That's how I make it. Travel prep? I don't think I, I don't think I'll ever have too many travel preps. Three is is really good. I like Hamlet Captain as a two two, but we don't have that many humans. We have spirits and other it's things. Kind of a lot of creature. No, I guess we have. 15. We have fifteen. Here's the doggies. <laughs> Three bin doggies. Also, if we get one more creature, I'll gladly take something else out. Like, I'll take this selfless Cathar out. Yeah, that guy's not good. He's he all right. He's a little better with three travel preps. I don't hate a woodland sleuth, I guess. I don't know. It's not great either. Two or three for four. Maybe gets you a thing back. Maybe doesn't. Wow, there's a lot of... I'm going to take this into the mall of hell. Also, Rakashir is very good, too. Whenever a vampire deals combat damage to a player, that gets a 1-1 counter. Both of these are very, very good red cards. I'm really surprised they're both in the pack still. Is Rakdos open? It's possible. It's possible. Old man Michael. Oh, Sulphur Falls? That's a whole stropony. I'll take Demon Male Hobark. 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 What's that? What's that from? Mm, My dad. dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's Timmy. It's Timmy from South Park. That's what I was doing there. I didn't realize it at the time. Oh, sure. Hobark. Yeah, it's just a Timmy. I don't think we're going to get one more creature. I don't think there's going to be one more creature in our colors that comes down the pipe. Make a wish, Michael. I did. No, purify the grave. Yikes. And basic land. All right, so we're going to have to find... I think we're probably just playing selfless Cathar. Also, one drop Cathar, two drop guy, turn three travel prep is fine. Yeah. Cobb wings might be worth considering. I'm going to actually play nine because we have double double white for both these guys. Uh, I don't think we really need it, though. We have triple travel preps, but I might cut it for a Blazing Torch, actually. I like that better than Blazing Torch just because it gets damage in. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right. Well, that was a quick, that was a quick, quick. Just like me mum. Just like me mum. Uh, keep. Torchy's equip cost, I think, is two. Well, this could go poorly. If we can draw... I, I think if, the, if we draw... Planes, planes. This is actually pretty okay. All right, that was not. We can still draw planes, planes, and still play three drop, four drop, five drop, prep, prep. Yikes. Okay, well. This guy does not have reach, so. We do need a second creature to really travel prep here, so. Crossing them fingeals. Take these cobbled wings. 
and learn how to fly. Uh, he really, he was really hitting them high notes there. <laughs> fly. Bet you had a Slus New Guild gate. How dare you? Nope. Joke's on you, buddy. Actually, I feel like we should have actually just played the five drop here, but this is a good amount of damage. And if they don't have like a bounce spell here, it's pretty decent. I actually don't even want to play Cobbled Wings because this guy, then all of a sudden it's a 4-2. But if we play this guy, I'll just make it a 3-5 instead and it's totally fine. This one Orchard Spirit and this Butcher's Cleaver are going to go the distance here. And there's not that much removal in this format. If I remember correctly. Have you ever wondered why the RE is in refrigerator? It implies that your food is already refrigerated and now you're doing it again. That's... Huh. Hmm. Alright, that was a good game. This was probably one of our worst possible draws and uh, it, didn't, it just ended. Now it's over. Yeah, I think this is one and two. One and one. Oh, it's one and one. It's actually very cheap. So it makes it good. Good and cheap. <laughs> like your mom. Wow. Mm, yeah, this is fine. Like we don't have a ton of early drops, so I, I feel like mulliganing them to, to them is not super preferred. Soup or preferred? What do you got there? Some change? Is that mine? Yeah. Are you going to steal my two quarters? No, I'm just playing with them. Yeah, you were just playing with them. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm on to you. Got them for 50 cents, boys. He did. He got me for 50 cents. What are you, what are you gonna do? You know what to do. Oh, look at that. Brain weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Oh, you're just gonna make me discard two cards? I'll discard travel prep and a land here. Because travel prep in the graveyard is still very, very good. Uh, I think we actually... Very, very good. Very, very cheap. Actually, maybe it was maybe the correct play was uh, discarding Village Bell Ringer because that guy doesn't seem ideal here. However, I'm pretty okay with how this worked out. We can play Thurban Century next turn. Oh, that thing is a real oh god! That card is the worst in this format, dude. How does he become? Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Uh huh. It's just literally can't do anything if it just sits there. It's so bad. Oh, it doesn't have float, though. We could have attacked with this guy. Ugh! I got so tilted by the Mana Gargoyle because it's like such an MVP in this format. Actually, we have Cobbled Wings, too, so it's not... Wow, Alters Reap. Interesting. Cobbled wings. Plants. So they could go give it flying and lose his defender. Then they just block. It's not great. Just exile it. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, if they tap out for something, this guy can get in there. So if they if they lose, if they if the game ends with them at three or less life, um, I'm going to kick myself. Yikes, that is also a very good card. Wow, their deck is significantly better when they uh, draw their good cards. Yeah, their deck seems pretty decent. You mean Dece? No, I mean decent. Okay, good talk. They can just block here. We pump this guy. It's a 5-5. Five five. This is indestructible. I guess we'll just play this guy 
and this guy. All right, here we go. Silent Departure, bounce that guy, sure. Block here, you take eight. I mean, if they want to tap out to do that again, I guess it's fine. I don't love it, but... I actually don't know how to deal with either of these creatures. I don't have anything like... I, have, I guess we have Prey Upon. If this guy flips, we can Prey Upon. Or actually, we can even pump this guy and Prey Upon. But, um... They have four cards in hand, which is not nothing. I assume they're just going to Silent Departure again. Makeshift Mauler, sure. Oh, we're just dead because they have two floaty boys. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right. Oh. Oh. We're not dead. Seems good. That was weird. Actually, this guy's probably better, right? Yeah, they probably just forgot to make it an attacker. Yep, definitely transform that guy into a 5-4. Because <clears throat> now we can put the cleaver on this guy. I guess they can still block here. But the life is relevant. And uh, it's 8, so they'll take 4. Man, I am surprised we are not dead. The only problem I see with equipment, I guess that they're not going to block here if they block here. So take four, five, six. Excellent. I mean, they have to play something, right? I guess they they do have a silent departure that they can cast on this guy. Does this give trample? No, it just gives lifelink, right? Just lifelink, yeah. Yep, that's what I figured. Oh, that's what you. Oh, wow. Do you have another one? No. Okay. Fascinating. So this guy's going to trade anyway, so that means any block here is totally fine. So we'll just eat your other dude. They're at five. Wow, this game is significantly... They'd be at two right now if we didn't miss this Orchard Spirit attack. Uh, this is Phantom. And then Snapcast is worth ten, so I probably would have kept it. And even if we put this on here, like we're still gaining another seven, another five, like... Corpse Lunge. Exile a creature from your graveyard deals damage. You. That's that's pretty nice. Definitely forgot about that guy. Wow. 
<sighs> oh, the other deck is real good. The other decks got significantly better after game two. So there's block here. Um, we can go bell ringer, but we're dead to the float the floaty boys. Those floaty boys are at it again. Wasn't that guy a human? Yeah. So we can give a lifelink an attack. Well, right, but it just dies. Like I wish we had one more power so that we can survive, or one more toughness rather, but. Yep. God, they'd be at two right now. Wow, Ludovic's test subject too? Jesus. Must be nice. Do they know this guy attacks? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I don't think so either. Like You, you have attacked with it all. You game. have two creatures on board and I'm tapped out. Like just attack me for a million. And now we're dead. Like, what is this, four counters? Five or more, so they can go one, two, and then add three next turn, and then they just have a 13 13 trampler. Yeah, all right. Well, all right. Wednesday, whenever Crunch of Lock from Vampire, no. Crunch of Lock by Vampire Zombies, no. Price from non humans, actually. That seems great here. Non human creatures, yeah. That means that's like just unblockability. Um, this actually does deal with like four fours and stuff. We also didn't see either prey upon, so cobble wings doesn't seem great here. Forty one special. Keep it special. I will play first. This hand is not aggressive at all. It's not bad, it's just not good. I'm gonna mull. This is worse, but I'll take it. Ugh. Really good if we draw planes, planes. Yeah, if we draw two lands in a row, we're good. All right, one time. All right, here we go. Probably could have went to five, but I really don't foresee us winning against on five against this deck, so. Yep. Should have kept first hand, I think. They don't have a black source, though, so that's good, I guess. I wonder if it's Cathar. Actually, we're just going to go Ambush Viper because if we hit another land, we can go... Oh, uh, we don't have Prey Upon, so never mind. You do have Prey Upon. I'm Prey Upon. Travel Preparations, I meant. <sighs> well. No bueno. Yeah, this is fine. If you want to trade, I'm game. Sure. Based on not having any black sources, I feel like we're actually not too far out of this game. And that's good, but... Well, I guess we should have held last turn. Yep, that's pretty rough. Alright, so like, yeah, we shouldn't have attacked there. I forgot about the... Uh, makeshift Mauler Claws where you have to have a guy in your graveyard so then they're super eager to, tra eager to trade. Right. But I figured if we got that out of the way then uh, now they're just going to play Matter Gargoyle I bet. Sh Murder of Crows, sure. Never don't have that guy. Um... Does it matter? Not really. Yeah, 
yep, this game is pretty over. Their deck is pretty good. Yeah, their deck's real good. Yep. I'm just going to go to the next game. We can't beat this. Like, there's no... We have no real efficient answers to this. Is there, like, a... Uh, yeah, I think there's the... Broken Bonds or so. There's not Broken Bonds, but there's the... There's a card that, like, gives a human plus two plus two, or it makes another creature unable to attack or block in this set. I forgot what it was called. I don't look it up. I don't care that much. Okay. Got all the colors. Got some three drops. I'm good. We're doing it. Also, this might be a situation where, like, a cube draft, phantom cube draft, if you 2 1, you still get your 100 play points back. So. <coughs> right, Michael? Maybe. Good talk. Two drop. Mm, that's not it. But I appreciate your Moxie magic online. You're fighting the good fight, and that's important. Just like Mike's mother. Hmm. Mulch. Oh, God. They're going to spider spawning us. Lumbernaut. Victim of Night. And Falcon Wrath Noble. So I think they got one. Wow. They just put a bunch of good cards in their graveyard. Wow. There's the two drop. Cool. Great. We got a big fan. Big fan confirmed. This way we're losing. It's going down. We're going down, down in the second. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, well, that's definitely better for me then. We're doing good. The problem with the werewolf match is that, like, if you take a turn off to flipper werewolves, their werewolves flip too. If it flips, we can kill it. It occurs to me that we can flip whatever we want. Uh, Avacyn Priest is very good, though. If they do flip, though, I can just tap their guy down. When there's trouble, you can call DW. Darkwing Duck! You know Darkwing Duck? I do. That's cool. Me too. Let's get dangerous. You know that song? You know the Let's Get Dangerous song? No, man. Enlighten me. No, I'm good. Hey, it started raining here. That is all. Wow, that's a cool story. That's a cool story, mate. I'll take two. I won't fight it. I'm about to lose control. Do you think you like it? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Travel prep is so broken, dude. It's pretty good. Six, yeah. And we have two more counters in the graveyard. Did you guys know that trouble you rhymes with W? 
Uh, I didn't know that, but I mean, it's it's like saying if you did you know that if something's upside down, they're upside down. I mean, like I, I you know what? I don't know how to. I don't know how to talk to you right now. <laughs> this has been great. What has been great? That whole conversation was just... Ugh. Chef's kiss? Yeah, it was chef's kiss. I'll chef's kiss your throat, nose. Throat nose. That's where you go to the doctor when you're sick. Mm-hmm. You heard me. Stop being weird about it, all right? I mean, I heard you. I just didn't... Everybody just didn't knows. didn't make any sense. You made sense. Just deal with it. I can't. Stop being a child. I never knew that W literally is pronounced W. Wait. Really? Because it's two U's, though. I can't tell if you're just kidding right now. They have to be kidding, right? It's W. There's two U's. That's how it's delivered. The word is literally made that way. Do you understand, Michael? No. Do you understand anything? No. (laughs) What are you getting so angry about? Oh, they're playing Soul Tide. This is nice. Oh, this is nice. You got heavy breathing going on? Mike's going to go to go to Publix and get a sub for, for dinner. I don't even know what kind. I bet you're getting turkey. Probably not. Oh, you're going to get chicken tender sub? Depends on if it's on sale or not. You're going to get a roast beef sub? I usually get whatever's on sale. You love that roast beef, brah. It's pretty good. Roast beef, brah. Will you be my roast beef, brah? No. That's sad. I see you. I'm watching you. That's creepy. <laughs> did you look at your window just in case? Yeah, I was like... <laughs> I literally did. Like, oh. He's like... I'm like, oh no. All right, I guess I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go do a thing. And if you have the way to kill any, if you have the way to kill any of my creatures, then I get to play uh, five five boar, boar borigmos. I have five. I got continuum, but I got continuum. That's pretty. That's that's good. I like that. Our guy flipped. Yeah, that's he didn't play. That didn't play any spells. Good old sale roast beef. Is that what you eat? The sale roast beef? If it is on sale, yeah. What if it's not on sale? Then I don't. Okay, you don't have to yell. Idiot. God. Idiot. You idiot. No, that's just how streams work. Oh, they're going to flash it back and flip my guy again? Dang. Are they not going to do that? You have to totally think twice again just so you can flip my dude. There you go. They did it. They did it. Will Robinson. I was Will Robinson once. So if we attack everything they block here, they take two, three, four, five. Nah, I'll just deal two and play a grizzled outcasts. What about vacuum? Did you guys get vacuum? Oh, wow. That's a big boy. That's a big, big boy. That's a big, big boy. Oh, that is a big boy. You're telling me. Um, hmm. Transform this guy. Pump the team. I think we can actually attack with everybody here. We're going to make some magic. This is each end step? Jesus. What does he do? Destroy a thing? Yeah, destroy a non-demon boy. However, let's say they don't make it to... What are what are the best blocks here? They block here, they block like here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could kill them if they don't block these two. Say they block here and here. I'm going to just do it. 
<clears throat> Here we go again on our own. Reaper from Reaper from the Abyss is actually pretty broken. And by broken, I mean it's just a strong card. There's nothing inherently broken about it. Okay, I had a feeling you would do that. And I had a feeling you would do that. Just hack that dude. We'll see. Johnny Big Large and Doll. What are you waiting for? Uh, they have not passed priority yet. Oh. What are you waiting for? I, they're not done, Michael. God. All right. So. Nope. Don't go. do that. Yep. Good call. I almost had an accident. Would you like to flip this guy? Oh, God. Yeah. 100%. So right now, they're taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That should be the game. I don't have the Rangers Guile here. Ooh, got him. Got him. Got them. Reaper from the... Ab I'm just going to leave now because they didn't say anything. I don't want to be awkward. Okay, bye. Gategle made me laugh harder than any of the other sublime nonsense we've had today. Gateggle? Is that just Google with the uh, the O's on the side? Side O's? Side O's. Tomoharo Side O's? Side O's. What'd you say to me? Can you see me with your side O's? Look with your side O's. Seems decent. <sighs> Three four drops is not ideal, but I mean they're they're good. I think it's okay. They also went to six, so they're basically dead. Oh. That's good. Not sure how they can survive. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. You're right. Maybe they can't. Maybe they can't. You're right. Maybe they won't. Maybe they can't. Also, travel part with the two one one spirits is two three three spirits. That guy's good. He looks a little shepherd. Yikes! Please be a two drop. Please be a two drop. Oh goodness, God. Yikes. Just a three three with intimidate. Well, problem is. Yeah. We got seven turns. I guess that's true. Scuba doo wop. Scuba doo 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 doo. What are you guys doing in this chat, man? What is even happening? I'm just a little silhouette of a mic. Trick or treating started 45 minutes ago and I've only had one kid come. I spent $50 on full size candy. Why would you do that? Also, I don't like having my window open because if trick or treaters come by, they can just see right in here and be like, I know you're home. I feel like if I friendly say don't ghost me, maybe they won't. I don't know. Get on the right side of history, bruv. New house wanted to be that guy. That's a good guy to be, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. And now the outside world is dead. And then we were alone. So we take five here, and then we take another five, we go to seven, but we're gonna have a dude and we can go double double this guy, which should flip this guy back. This guy's very good. Gatstaff Gatstaff Shepherd is pretty good. Two, two for two with good upside, yeah. Oh, good. that guy's insane. Oh, yeah, God. That guy's, not, that guy's kind of a problem. Um, We can waste the travel prep and kill this guy, which is pretty good, actually. 
I don't love it, but I think it's got to be done. Yeah, that card's unbeatable. Don't have Ranger's Guile. <laughs> Don't have... I just don't want to lose. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Don't have Rangers, girl. Got two cards. Don't guile me, bro. Oh, no guile. So this guy's flipping back, but I don't think we're in a position to be racing here, so we're just going to pass. Plus one, plus one, have trample. Okay. I would probably still block here. They have two cards left. I think our hand is strong enough that... I guess they could just sack it and regenerate. But if they do that, then they're not going to deal the damage is the problem. So this guy... If they sack this to regenerate, uh, this guy becomes a 2-2. Two -two. And, uh, you know, like you do. Two, two, like if we draw any land, we can play villagers next turn and travel prep, which is nice. Yeah, this is fine. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. You know about little Sebastian? Obviously. Me too. Me too. Ooh, still no attack with this guy. Are you going to flip him? Give me a land, 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 land. Give me a land. Give me a land. Break me off a piece of that. Ah, uh, it's still two spells. That's actually pretty good. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. <laughs> With the sweet November rent. What I am, what I know, never shine noon, what I found. That's, I don't know how I got from November rain to Unforgiven. I don't either. That was a weird, that was really weird. Yeah, that was a weird course of two very different bands. I was a different band once, Greg. Can you different band me? The uneven numbers make Babby Jesus. How does Babby, how was Babby Jesus? RPG Badger, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh, all right. Untap this guy, but not blocking, so that's good. RPG Badger, thank you so much, dude. Welcome to the 200, uh, nice even 200 club. I don't know what that means, but either way, really appreciate the support. You are a gentleman and a scholar, and I'm okay. They have one card in hand? I feel like we're in good shape here. This guy flips again? I can't just keep playing two spells a turn, you know. Why not? You can technically block him anyway. It's not that big a deal. I'll block you. Wow. I guess we do have the... Yeah, I guess he's not as big of a threat anymore. If either one of these dies, we can play Fester Hide Boar, which is a 5-5 five, five beastie boy. I think this guy's probably better. Like, if he flips, cool. Quick, someone donate 1828. I mean, look, I would never stop you guys. Oh god, here we go. That was a good one. That that is a good one. Well, I guess we're just gonna try not to die here. 
That's a good pupper. God, trauma prep is, prep is so good. So we have to chump lock one of these guys, but these two are lethal for us. So, um... If we block here with this guy, we take f we go to one here, right? So we take three here and four here. Could have a pump spell to kill us, though. They have one card in hand. Like, if they had a pump spell, I'm pretty sure they would have blocked this guy sooner and killed it with the first striker. Like, nothing, nothing that they've had indicates that they have a pump spell here. I think we're just going to one here. And then these two should be lethal because it's six damage and they have no flying blockers. Oh god, what's this? Regenerate? Prey upon. Alright, well that answers that, I guess. Alright, nicely done there. Nicely done. Um... Last card is Prey Upon. That's pretty brutal. Wait, we can't attack, right? Well, we have to attack with this guy. Wait, no, we can't, can we? They have three no. guys. We just have to play the 2-3 flyer and pass. If they attack with this guy, we have to block, unfortunately. But then they don't have a guy here, so I guess we're... Travel prep would be insane here, which we have two of, because then they just can't block this guy, and we can pump it to a 5-5. Five, five. Nailed it! <laughs> All right, let's do it. Boop, boop. This is why you have three of them, guys. Well, GG anyway. I don't know why I said GGs like it was two of them. All right, got them. Unless they're like killed in response. I knew you were going for it, so I didn't even hesitate. Oof. Got there. Nicely done. Alright, so. Blazing Torch seems decent here. Yeah, they did have some creatures we can kill. They got the cobbled wings, perhaps. That's actually fine. I don't hate actually playing a caravan vigil over a land. I mean, if it hits your hand, it's basically the same as a land. The only problem is if you have only caravan vigil in your opening hand, but then, like, at that point, it's. I recently bought a Google Home, and we were asking to show me your last video because my shitty French accent I'm being showed some shitty singer named Frank Lupo. So I was wondering, would you mind changing your name? That's actually hilarious. I didn't think you could do that. You can tell Google Home to show you like the last video of a of a of a like a YouTuber, like a most recent YouTube video of someone. That's pretty cool. He has a genuine issue with your YouTube videos. Yep, that's fair. I. uh... It's my fault for having this name for so long, I think. Yeah, way to mess up. Yeah, I, I done messed up. I'm a real aa -er on here. Okay, see, next turn we're going to get a green. We're going to play this guy, we're going to get a green, then we're going to play villagers next turn, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, the double first strike, boys. 
Those double first strike boys are at it again. So I dubbed him. My last Pepper Talk question never got answered, so I'm going to repeat it. Hey, welcome back to Pepper Talk. We have another Pepper Talk question here. Uh, what flavor pepper should I use in my Magic the Gathering theme chili? Okay, I'll uh, let Michael B. field this one. Michael, what pepper uh, should Josh use in his pepper theme chili? That's a good question. Um, I think you want to probably use the ghost pepper. Why? Why do you think the ghost pepper, Michael? Because it's very spooky. It's a Magic the Gathering theme chili, not a Halloween theme chili. Uh, it's clearly Innistrad theme chili. Josh, can you confirm whether or not your chili is Innistrad themed? That's a lot of flying first strikers he's got over there. Yeah. Oh no. Oh boy, that's gonna be hard to beat. I think we're just dead to that. That's not something that props can fix. <laughs> I mean, if we draw our own travel prep, it's okay. That wasn't it, but um. Is it any creature dies? When a, if a creature died this turn. Alright, so that's pretty good. I, mean, I think we're in decent shape here. He was thinking more Kaladesh theme. Can we get a Kaladesh theme pepper for some chili? In that case, I would go with the Seven Pod Primo. The Seven Pod Primo is what he said, I believe. Uh, seven Pod Primo, is that correct? Pot Primo? Seven Pot Primo. Uh, if you guys want to Google Seven Pot Primo, I'm sure you won't come up with any pepper. I think he made that up right now, but uh, appreciate your question. Thank you for calling in Pepper Talk. I'm tempted to just flip both these guys. This dude's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's a big 7-7, seven, seven, good buddy. Yeah, we'll just flip here. How did the guilds draft go? Because I missed it. Uh, I'm not sure which one you were watching. The first one went 2-0. The second one went 3-0. So, or 2-1, then 3-0. So, you know. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, the 7-pot primo is a real pepper. I thought you were just making that shit up. God, you are a pepper. Wow, you really asked. Uh, you really asked the right guy here. So five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy. Boom, 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 boom. I got some big boys over here for you. These are my big boys. I'm gonna look up this seven pop primo. Someone's saying they're saying it's an ugly pepper. Oh, he's a little, he's just a little speckled boy. There we go. Let's get it together. All right. I hope you don't also have something because this is going to be a blowout. I don't know if there's that many tricks you could have, but... Good games, good luck. Oh, sweet. Good games. I'm going to stop by and say hi. Nice. 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 Pickle Rick! I mean, there's an argument we could have alpha because this guy is just huge, but I didn't know how this was going to shake out, so... Uh, it, it turned out pretty okay, though. I guess they flipped back, unfortunately, but I think they're still pretty good. This guy's only a 6-6 six, six now, I think. I'll oh, just 5-5. Five, five. Or 
Remember that time you were like, I don't think we can win now? I do remember that. We won. And 100 play points. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our flashback Innistrad journey. Really appreciate it. You can slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm going to do one more, so don't leave. And uh, you can check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off uh, your first purchase, and you get free returns and free shipping. So if you're looking for, if you're actually in the market for the softest, most comfortable micromodal underwear, onesies, uh, lounge pants, shirts, socks, name it uh you can head there and uh you can use my affiliate link and we'll both get a little perk so you get a discount i get a kickback everybody wins thank you guys so much for checking out the videos and uh support on the youtubes and i'll see you guys next time